Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about enabling ping for Server 2016 and our Windows 10 client. So by default, when you add a machine to a domain, if it is a Windows server or it is a Windows client, you probably won't be able to ping it by default. Now, domain controllers are supposed to be able to allow ping to and from but that's not always the case so to troubleshoot it's real easy if you're having issues with trying to ping from your domain controller over to a client or a member server and it's not working if you go to that client or that member server and you disable the firewall and then you try to ping and it works well then you know that the firewall is blocking the icmp packet real simple now the same thing can be said on a domain controller if you're trying to ping a domain controller from a client or a member server and it's not happening, if you go to that domain controller and you disable the firewall just for a test and the ping works, well then you know that firewall is blocking. So let's see how we can enable ping without disabling our firewall. I'm currently on my DC1 and I'm going to right click on my start button. From here I'm going to open up a command prompt. We'll do it with the admin. I'm now going to attempt to ping the IP address of my Windows 10 client by typing in ping followed by the IP address. And now I'm going to hit enter. And you'll notice that the ping is not working. The ICMP packets are not getting through to my Windows 10 client. Let's go ahead and stop that. Control C. Now let's go over to my Windows 10 client. So now I'm on my Windows 10 client, so I'm just going to hit the Windows key plus R, bring up a command prompt here real quick by just typing in CMD into the run line. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to try to ping DC1. And you'll notice that DC1 will allow the ping packet to traverse its network adapter. So I have ping working one way. I can ping from my workstation over to my domain controller, but I need to ping from my domain controller over to my workstation. So I'm going to have to allow packets, ICMP packets, or ping to traverse the network adapter on this Windows 10 machine. Now let's see how we do that. I'm on my Windows 10 client. Go ahead and click on the Start button. Let's go to Control Panel. From Control Panel, scroll on down till you come to the Windows Firewall. Open that up. Once the Windows Firewall has opened up, go ahead and click on Advanced Settings. And from here, we're going to click on Inbound Rules. So you want to scroll down until you come to File and Print Sharing Echo Request. Now, this is going to allow the echo request to come in. Now, you'll notice that we have it enabled on a couple of these. So you can just right click on any of them that are not enabled and you can select enable rule and now that rule is enabled. Another thing you're going to have to check on is right click and go to properties and up here under advanced scroll on down to where it talks about edge traversal. Pull this down and you want to allow edge traversal. This will allow machines that are on a different subnet to be able to ping across that switch or that router and be able to get a response back from the machine that they're trying to ping. Go ahead and say apply. Go ahead and say OK. Let's go ahead and do that on all of them here. And make sure that that allow edge traversal is selected. Say OK. You also want to do that for your TCP IP version 6 as well. All right, so you got all that done. Now let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go on back over to our DC1 and try to ping again. So I'm back over my DC1. I'm going to go ahead and use my up arrow, bring up that last command for pinging my Windows 10 client. I'm going to hit enter. And you'll notice now that the ping request does work. So you're going to have to do that on your servers if it's not working, as well as your clients if you want ping to be able to work both ways. That concludes the short video presentation on how we go about enabling ping to work between our different clients, our member servers, and our domain controllers. Now, if you have any questions about any of the material that was covered in the short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.